Now we will balance the tone arm and set the tracking force. This important process allows the cartridge to track properly and failure to do so can cause your stylus to wear prematurely or possibly cause damage to your records. Carefully remove the protective cover from the stylus by sliding it straight forward off the front of the cartridge. Be very careful not to damage the exposed stylus by dragging across the slip mat. While gently holding the head shell to stabilize the tone arm, release the tone arm locking clamp. At this point, the tone arm is unbalanced and can freely swing. Still gently holding the head shell, carefully rotate the counterweight until the tone arm is horizontally balanced and hovers freely just above the platter without touching the platter surface. Once the tone arm is balanced without touching the counterweight, carefully lock the tone arm back into its rest. Now set the stylus tracking force. Every cartridge has a manufacturer's recommended tracking force. Setting the tracking force too light results in the stylus skipping out of the groove on loud or dynamic passages. Setting it too heavy can cause excessive wear on both your stylus and records. Identify the cartridge included with your turntable by the stylus assembly color. The ATP2 cartridge has a white stylus assembly. Set its tracking force at 3.5 grams. If your turntable has an AT95E cartridge with a green stylus assembly, set its tracking force at 2.0 grams. Locate the black stylus force gauge ring on the front of the counterweight. It can rotate independently from the counterweight and is marked with numbers and lines representing different tracking forces. Without turning the counterweight, carefully rotate the stylus force ring until the zero on the ring lines up with the center line marked along the top of the rear arm. Now set the tracking force by rotating the entire counterweight assembly in a counterclockwise direction. As you rotate the counterweight, note that the gauge ring moves with it. Continue turning the counterweight until the 3.5 value on the gauge ring lines up with the center line mark on the rear of the tone arm. You now have set the tracking force properly for the ATP2 cartridge. If you ever change out the cartridge, remember you must rebalance the tone arm and reset the tracking force to the value required by the new cartridge. For more information about Audio Technica and USB turntables, including how to install and configure the recording software included with your turntable, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com. Thank you for watching and enjoy the music.